good morning everyone it is what is today oh my goodness today is wednesday i'm on my way to work and i don't know if i've given you guys an update on my job um i feel like i told you guys this i don't know anyway so i am back now full full time my hours changed a little bit which i'm okay with i'm off on fridays now which i'm totally happy about but my Tuesday and Wednesdays days are longer so um, I'm just tired you guys I'm super tired I had a good night of sleep last night but I'm still tired because my body is getting used to working again like this I'm not glad what happened happened with the pandemic of course no one wants that but I did enjoy my time off to be here at home with my children to do the projects at home and stuff like that and I knew eventually we had to get back to real life so here I am <laughs> back to real life so I am back in the workforce even though I've been back for a while I'm back full-time now so yeah and I'm just tired oh my goodness you guys isn't it sad that you're just tired from working your regular job so I started back full time last Monday because remember I told you guys we only were doing like four hours a day and then four hours every other day it just it, it was just really weird so I'm like either I'm gonna have to you know do something or get a full-time job because I can't just keep working oh let's not let's keep everyone home today because we're afraid of the Rona you know stuff like that I don't know so I'm just in my car letting it warm up a little bit before I start driving. Do you guys do that? Do you guys still let your cars warm up or is that a thing of the past? I know with the newer cars now, you don't have to so much unless you park outside and live in an area where it like gets really, really cold overnight. Every car my mom had and then when I did have cars um, in my early years, they were older cars and so when you got in it you had to warm it up for at least 10 minutes in order for it to function properly so yeah do you guys warm up your car still and I know I park in my garage so I really don't have to warm it up that much but I still do it it's a habit I don't know oh the air is really funky y'all so you know how there's fires here in California in like the Sonoma area and stuff like that so I guess they're doing I call them rolling blackouts, but I don't know if they call it that, but they're turning off people's power in the area where the fires are. So yeah, I'm glad it's not here in Sacramento, but yeah, they're cutting off people's power for like, I don't know, 24 hours or something like that. I'm probably wrong about the time, but they're doing that in the areas where they have the fires, something like that. But anyway, I think they're, the air was kind of clearing up, not it wasn't clear but it was kind of clearing up but now it started yesterday it just got very ugly out and I heard that there was a fire um, even closer so yeah you guys the Sun you can't even you, you can pretty much look at the Sun that's how foggy how foggy that's how smoggy <laughs> the sky is right now all right you guys uh, I'm so tired so yeah today is my late late day well, I said that already. Did I? So I'm, I'm so tired, I don't know what I told you guys. So, did I say Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my late days? So, yeah. It's my late days. And I don't get off until later. So, let's go. I think I'm going to go to McDonald's to get some coffee. Because I slept as long as I could today. Because I need my sleep. And I'm tired. Looking sweaty, my hair is a mess. Yes, I took my braids out or the twist out, and I got these gray hairs being disrespectful, like Edna says. Very disrespectful, anyway. So, as you can see, I'm home from work and I've been cleaning. I cleaned the well, the girls helped me, they cleaned their bathroom, and I did the dishes and kitchen and living room. And now I'm just in a cleaning mood. I even have a clean with me video on because you know it gives you inspiration. And I actually should have done a clean with me video for you guys, but I'm not dressed. I'm in my pajamas, living my best life. And yeah, so next time. Yeah, I have a lot of, not junk, but I have books and my 
laptop and other things on my bed and you guys know how my nightstand has always been cluttered and I don't show you guys all the time because a lot of times I have my mail on there and has my address and everything but it's like a go-to you know you have a junk drawer well in my room I have a junk nightstand or I throw everything oh, I'll look at it later and then it piles up so anyway I'm gonna do that um change the sheets on my bed Sheets are always white because that's just the theme of my room, gray and white. Um, I may eventually buy some gray sheets, but then I want to find a white comforter because mine is gray. I may switch it up. So yeah, um, it's about 9.20 and I actually should be winding down, but this shouldn't take me very long. Um, I should be done in about 40 minutes. That way I can actually start winding down around 10 o'clock so I can take a shower and go to bed, stuff like that. And yes, I know I have my pajamas on, but I take showers in the mornings, you guys, but sometimes I take showers in the morning and the night. Let me tell you why. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because I haven't been vlogging a lot, so I'm trying to give you some content. So here's TMI from Michelle. Anyway, I take showers at night because you go all day long and you sweat probably in whatever dirt you collected on your body and then you lay it on your sheets ew gross so yeah I take my showers at night and then if I do take a shower at night in the morning it's only because if I sweat in the middle of the night because you guys I am a sweater TMI again even when I was smaller and I didn't have as much extra fluff on me I sweat it a lot so sometimes if it gets too hot I will sweat in the night and then I'll take another shower but yeah there you go TMI from Michelle Anyway, let me get to cleaning my room. My nightstand over there, that one's not that bad, but yeah, alrighty, here we go. So it's kind of not fair me showing you guys the after because I didn't let you guys see the before, but changed my sheets and cleaned all the papers up. I had a few things on my bed, books and stuff like that, and then over there. So yeah, you guys, it, it is clean, just trust me, but it's kind of not fair to you guys because you guys didn't see the beginning or the before. So I'm done with what I'm going to do tonight. I did have clothes that I folded and put away, but I didn't hang up my clothes yet because it's 10 o'clock, it's getting late. I do have to get up earlier tomorrow. Tomorrow's my early day. And what else? Oh, I need to get in the shower. So I'm going to do that call in the night and I'll just continue this tomorrow Good morning. It is super early. Right, I'm making my coffee and then I'm going to go. You guys, I completely forgot that I had these little coffee pods. Mm, it smells so good. Now when you to get your hat something and then when you find it it's like what so that's how I felt with this coffee and then I used to keep it in it the box that it came in but now I just keep it in this little con push top container that way it keeps the freshness for longer and it still smells just as good as when I bought it like three weeks ago because I forgot about it I am going to use my Ray Dunn work mug I'm so happy today is my Friday I cannot wait to come home and I was about to say sleep but I can't necessarily do that ladies Bible study is here tonight do you have to go excuse me so on my early days even though I have to get up early I um get up as late as I can because I want to sleep as much as I can so when I actually do get up I can't play around as far as pressing snooze or taking my time stuff like that oh gosh I filled this up way too much I did 10 ounces instead of 8 and this cup holds it holds the 10 but I didn't leave room for the creamer or I did but it just all the way up to the top all right you guys I gotta go look how dark it is now when I have to leave in the morning I'm sure that'll change once the time change it'll be 
light right now and then it'll be dark when I get home on my late days so yeah just letting the car warm up again and then I'm gonna head out to work that I tell you guys today is my Friday I'm so excited I mean I wish we worked a little bit less hours but the reason why we go in super early is so we can get off earlier so yeah and I'm totally okay with that and get my Fridays off I'm I'm good with it <laughs> she's covering up her face I'm trying to show you guys her shoes so she got new shoes you guys she loves these huge shoes where'd you get them deep deep pop yeah yes I can even see them y'all look at him he's amazing <laughs> Saturday. Yes, I look like this. I'm about to clean the kitchen. Everything else is clean, but the kitchen is a hot mess. And I usually never show you guys my dishes when it's that this bad. This is as bad as it ever gets. But I'm going to show you guys today. I was going to do a clean with me video for like the whole kitchen, but I don't feel like getting dressed because I just got in the shower and put on clean pajamas. And it's just one of them days that I'm not getting dressed today. So anyway, I'm gonna clean these dishes real quick and it, it will be quick, trust me. Um, I don't take that long doing the dishes and it's mostly big things so it's gonna go really quick and then I gotta edit a video for you guys and yeah, start my day. It's about, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm just now getting up, you guys. Well, not just, I've been up for maybe like 40 minutes. Um, I went to bed pretty late last night so yeah, clean the dishes and let me show you guys. Don't judge me. I'm gonna let you know right now. This is real life. Yeah, yeah, this is as bad as it gets. Had the air fryer out because we fried some wontons and when um, the people came over for Bible study, one of the ladies brought this for us, which I'm really trying to be good with my eating so I don't know what I'm going to do with this, um, but yeah, there's only three people that live in this house, you guys. Why? I, I, I don't understand why. This is from us cooking yesterday and just being here, so yeah. Okay, all right, let me do these dishes. All right, you guys, kitchen is all clean. I put away the air fry, fryer, and these are just things that I wash on hand that I usually don't put in the... I'm about to say the microwave the dishwasher um, I'm pretty sure I can this but I just don't I washed the tray for the air fryer on hand and then these plastics I feel that they may melt maybe not if I put them on top rack and because I use my Ray Dunn I don't know I just don't want this in the dishwasher even though I put the other Ray Dunn's in the dishwasher I don't know I'm talking too much started the dishes and about to edit the vlog oh and I have sister sister playing right there on the TV uh, seriously, I'm not answering. I know no one in Turkey. Nope. So I'm on Edna's live from Edna's world. So just checking her out. Not much later, but haven't done a whole lot other than the dishes this morning. The rest of the house is clean. Um, yeah. So I've been thinking, you guys, and this is not something that I just thought of today, but we actually want another dog and the same place where we adopted Boston. I am looking into getting another dog from them. So I already reached out to the lady and she said she would keep an eye out for me. They didn't have anything. That's when I talked to her before, but she messaged me today and she said they may have another Cocker Spaniel. Um, I'm not gonna get all excited and happy yet because it's not for sure. So, he was rescued in the area where the fires are. He doesn't have a chip on him. He didn't have a collar. So they're putting up signs and trying to reach out to find out, look at that Boston, to see if the owners are looking for him. Which, that's most importantly, if his owners find him, great, give him back to his family because that's where he belongs. But if not, they're gonna go ahead and go through the process. So they're gonna get him fixed and get his rabies shot and stuff like that and then I can I'm just gonna go straight to adoption not the fostering thing so they don't know much about his personality he is an older dog he's eight years old which is what we're good we're good with older dogs and as long as he's housebroken I'm okay with 
So even if we don't get him, you guys, I still want her to keep us in mind. I've seen a picture of him, and I won't show you guys because we may not get him. He may not be ours to have, but he has the same little sad puppy dog pathetic eyes that Boston has, and he's brown and white. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna tell you guys. It, it's 50 50. Oh, yeah, you guys. But what I was gonna say, even though, even if we don't get him, I still plan on getting another dog. And it's gonna be about the same size as Boston, or maybe a little bit bigger. So, of course, he would have to get along with Boston because of the things that are going on in this world now. I don't know if they're going to have us do a meet and greet or how they're going to proceed but I will find out soon you guys yeah what's been going on in my head and actually I've been thinking about this for a few months it hasn't been nothing that I just decided and woke up one day and like oh let me get a dog I was thinking about it before because Boston I don't know he he's a great dog trust me I love Boston he just I don't know he just looks a little lonely he may need a brother so yeah we're gonna do that eventually Huh, Boston? He's laying right there because Savannah and Cheyenne went to the store and he's looking kind of pathetic because Savannah's not here. So this makes me wonder. I wonder if when we get another dog, whether it's this one or another, or another one, I wonder if it's going to follow Boston around like and follow Savannah around like Boston follows Savannah. And with dogs, as you guys know, the ones who have dogs, you can't make yourself that dog's favorite person that dog usually gravitate towards one person in the family that's just what they do you know so i'm like well maybe this one will like me i don't know i mean boston likes me but i'm second when savannah comes in the house i'm boston boston come here boy come here oh yeah now he's coming huh yes you like me when savannah's not here huh we best friends when Savannah's not here. Say hi. Tell everyone hey. Tell everyone hey. Watch. I knew he was going to do that because he wants me to pet him some more. Yes. You want a brother? Do you want a friend to hang around? Hmm? Do you want someone to hang around? <laughs> he's probably like, no. I'm the baby. <laughs> yeah. And now he's going to go back and look for Savannah. She's gone. She's not here. You might as well sit down and relax. You might as well sit down. What are you doing? Where are you going? A feeder in his way and he does not like feet. What are you doing? She's not here, Boston. One day he laid right there and faced the door and he stayed there until Savannah came home. And he's probably, yeah, he's laying down on his bed. Anyway, you guys, so a long time ago, I mean, out of being a dog person and a cat person, I've always liked dogs. But when I was younger, like young adult, I didn't want one because I'm like, well, I got these three kids to take care of. I didn't want a dog. So when they got older, it's, I started liking dogs a whole lot more and just like really wanting one so yeah, i just rather a dog and savannah and cheyenne they both want cats and i'm not a cat person at all and to you guys who love cats i have no problem with that my mom loves cats i i'm not, and when i say i hate cats i use hate very lightly i don't hate cats i just don't like cats because maybe it's the whole you can't hear them unless they have a bell around the neck and the creepy factor i personally and if i'm not trying to offend anyone when i say this but i don't like when cats jump up on the countertop in the kitchen that's one thing that i'm just like this is disgusting and that's just it's just me whatever i just i don't like that i don't like how cats pretty much you don't own a cat you feed them and take care of them that way but they do whatever they want and I know not all cats are like that I know some people's cats are really sweet and let you love on them and whatever but I'm just not a cat person you guys and that's just me Tyreek and Annie they have a cat and I think Tyreek named him Demarcus 
I don't know why, but they call him Dishwater because I guess he either looks like Dishwater because he's dirty or he's always getting the dishwasher, Dishwater. I forgot which one that they said, but Tariq was like, Mom, you want a cat? I'm like, okay, you know there's not going to be a cat in this house. Yeah, I'm just not a cat person, you guys. I am not. Yeah. Said all that to say, we're getting another dog. So you guys, look what's still alive. It is afternoon, so good afternoon. It is Sunday, just relaxing. I haven't picked up the camera since this morning when I showed you guys the plant. Anyway, just relaxing. I am watching Girlfriends on Netflix. I'm so excited this show is on Netflix. When it came out years ago, I watched it and I loved it. And of course, I never seen every single episode. So I'm watching it now. I'm so in love with the show. And I think I'm actually going to buy the DVD box set of the whole series just so I can have it. Because to me, it's worth it. So anyway, just sitting here and I'm realizing that I'm just looking around my house and I'm like, wow, I'm going to have to baby proof my house soon. Okay, so when baby when she's here and she's a toddler running around I mean I know that corners on my table are pretty pointy but you know that's not I'm not worried about that because I can you know move that around but maybe just like get those plastic things that you put into the plugs that way they won't she won't stick anything in that so I'm gonna get that you know those things where it's, it stops them from opening up the drawers and the cabinets in the kitchen and the bathrooms I had that if they were quiet something's going on you know stuff like that so I may just get stuff for the kitchen and the bathroom and of course when the kids are t when she's a toddler and roaming around if I don't see her if she's not in my sight then I'm gonna get up and find out what's going on I'm not gonna let her get out of my sight that's how I was with my kids so and I'm sure I'll be the same way with um, the baby coming so yeah, so I'm gonna have to baby proof my home and get some baby items over here. That way she can have whatever she needs when she's here. And that way Tariq and Andy won't have to bring like a whole bunch of stuff when they come. That way she can just always have what she needs. So yeah, I'm excited you guys. Um, I know I'll be more excited when I see her little face. So yeah, that's about it. And let me change my battery splashing. Okay, so just changed my battery. And yeah, you guys, I know I look a mess, but I did not leave the house today. Did not leave the house. It's not that hot outside, and I really want to open my doors to let the air in, but it's not good air. For those of you that didn't know, we've been having a lot of fires here in California, and the air quality is not good at all. I really need to keep going on my schooling I told you guys that I'm, I'm taking online classes because I want a new career and I actually should have did it in a college but even if I would have took that route then I would have been at home anyway because of everything that's going on but it's funny because when you're at home and there's no teacher like forcing you to do it it's like oh I'll do it tomorrow oh, I'll do it tomorrow oh, I'll do it tomorrow and the week goes by and you realize you haven't even been to the computer to go through any of your schoolwork. I don't want to have to take forever to do this because it shouldn't have taken forever. So I need to buckle down and just start doing what I need to do for my online classes so I can get it done. I did do some yesterday. I didn't do anything today, which I should have. I had all day. I've been doing this all day. This, what I'm doing now, watching girlfriends sitting here. So there's no reason why I couldn't have gone to the computer and at least did a chapter of the work. And I still have time. It's only like 4.30. Yeah, 4.35. And yeah, so I can still do some schoolwork today. But anyway, let me finish watching Girlfriends. Girlfriends.